Hi everybody, it's me. Told you I'd be back. I hope you guys are having a good day. It's very muggy. I'm here in Venetia. Very muggy. So, um, I have some stuff to tell you. When I was, oh, uh, by the way, I'm wearing prison stripes in honor of Trump today. Um, I was driving, you know how I get a lot of stuff while I'm driving here because it takes like an hour and a half, sometimes two hours to get to Benicia from where I'm at. And I heard as clear as day, Jack Kennedy, John Kennedy. I didn't get Bobby this time, I got Jack. And he was definitely wanting us to know that his words were this too shall pass, like this is going to pass. Over there, they don't really consider him a president. He's like a, he's like a, a bad seed that was brought in to forever change the way we look at things. Um, you know, it's interesting that, and this is the part he was bringing up, that the separation of church and state is very important because what's going on is you've got these religious people in the name of God judging and deciding people of different skin color or from someplace that else is not worthy. Um, so they have condemned their own souls because they're busy saying, you know, but hello, you guys took over this nation. You weren't invited. You were immigrants. So he was just very, very distinct on how, how we're witnessing this right now, eventually all this too will pass. We're gonna be more careful. And believe it or not, a lot of the children coming up nowadays will not be religious. They're not religious at all. Um, now I believe in a higher power, and to me I call, call the higher power God, but whatever you believe in, Remember that judging doesn't make you religious at all. It doesn't make you connect it with source energy because if you're judging, you're screwing yourself up. But he cannot have this power without his minions around him. You know, let's say the whole crowd booed when he said, talked about uh, low IQ Nancy Pelosi and hey, listen, he offered to give um, someone a... Um, who was it? Elizabeth Warren. He offered to give her a IQ, not an IQ test, a test to see if she was Native American. And I said, hey, listen, I'd be willing to pay for you to have an IQ test. I mean, he doesn't really care. I'm so sorry, you guys. He doesn't really care. And then Kennedy says people make a big deal out of him and a little bit more so than they should because of the fact that he was assassinated. He almost showed like his head was blown off in front of everybody. And it was such a shock to this universe. Um, but he said, um, he's pointing towards not like Abraham Lincoln, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Like this man did more for our country. He actually saved us. And energetically, Franklin D. Roosevelt was getting information from the other side. Franklin D. Roosevelt really put everything out there. So, what did you say, Franklin? Franklin also told me that this particular president, it's almost like he'll be wiped off, like, you know, history-wise wiped off. But he represents a group of people. He, it's not him standing by himself. Because all that filth coming out of his mouth and, and hate... It's all coming, when he's saying it, they're roaring over it. But let's say he was doing that speech, like I said, and people booed him. You know what I'm saying? He, that's when things will affect him. And right now, due to the China stuff and the lobster uh, people in Maine are get, gonna get hit and people all over the world are gonna get hit with these tariffs, you're gonna see a lot of anger towards them. And again, I see the stock market going down, but it's not right now. I think it's more to do when charges are brought up against them. Okay, so today, let me just briefly, people have asked for different things. People definitely have asked me on Betsy DeVos.
these people live like in their own little zone, their own little world. And they don't, they're doing this, like they don't want to hear um, truth. She's being instructed. I'm not seeing all this coming from her. I'm feeling like other people are telling her what to do. So tell me about Betsy. Tell me about Betsy DeVos. She's got the tower, so I'm telling you, everybody's going to get boom, and you're going to see people falling off this Trump wagon. Um, her fortune is getting ready to change, you guys, and she's got the Ten of Swords, so she's going to get hit, and she's going to get hard. It just feels like all of a sudden things change, like, yeah, I'm even seeing August. All of a sudden, things are changing, and I'm seeing people just, like, throwing stones. Like, get out. Go on. Get out. Um, we got to be careful about judging. I know we, we'll be so relieved, but if we go in there with anger and hate and maybe go too far left, we're going to hurt ourselves. Um, we should be glad and just be tread carefully. That's what I'm hearing. Tread carefully. I just heard Jack Kennedy say something to me, but I can't hear what it is. Honor all lives is what he just said to me. Honor all nations and honor all lives. Putin will be take, taken down. It's not now. But I see people rising. Like good will overtake the bad. He's got such a tight rein. I see tentacles going around. But I feel an underground energy form coming in. Something's getting ready to happen with Putin, too. And Putin's just going to throw Trump to the wind. You could care less about him. So with Betsy DeVos, definitely whatever damage she's doing will be reversed. And definitely she's getting ready to uh, have stones thrown at her, too. I see groups of people furious at her. I even see maybe even place like California ignoring anything that the Trumps, that the Trumpers are bringing forward. I know just recently he said something and people are saying they're just going to ignore it. States can ignore it, you know. He's, oh, trust me, he's going. Okay, so Eric Prince, isn't that Betsy's brother? I don't know much about him, but I know he's a snake. I do know that. When you look at him, you can tell. I also feel he's a liar. So who is this Eric Prince, and what can I tell everybody about him? Ooh, a lot of sneaky, underhanded. I see monies coming to him. I see him. Did they say he was dealing with Russia? Because I see him dealing with foreign agents. And things are going to be, ooh, everything's getting ready to explode. People will be brought out to the forefront. Tell me about Eric. What can I tell folks about Eric? He's suffering emotionally. So I don't know if his family or whatever. He's not happy. Actually, Be Betsy is, is just going, following orders. She doesn't feel like she takes very much initiative. But this guy feels like he's under some sort of... The, the, there's like someone like Mueller or somebody on top of this standing with justice with the sword so something's getting ready to happen with him oh he's trying to hide money too <laughs> he's a fool so his path will be blocked he's looking like this like now what do I do he's frightened actually Something else is getting ready to happen to this guy. Ooh. Money. is the, All that money he loved is pouring out. We're going to recoup a lot of money by taking away the money from all these underhanded lowlifes. Look at me judging. <laughs> it's very hard to be very spiritual, and you know, when people are just so horrible. Hey, how'd you guys like that uh, uh, Pruitt finally going? 
I heard his wife screaming. And De Kelly definitely told him, we need your resignation letter. Trump would have liked to have hold on, held on to him. But you know what? He was making Trump look bad, just like I told you in that last video. I didn't expect it would be this soon, but I definitely saw him going. And listen, he... Some people, you know, there's more Oklahoma people that w might say, yeah, but I feel like even the people that like Trump will be mad at him because he made Trump look bad. That's what I'm feeling, like Trump could look bad. Okay, so I want to ask about those children in the case. Just out of curiosity, I want to ask. Tell me about the children in the case. Forgot to turn the phone off out there. Tell me about the children in the cave. Tell me about the children in the cave. Tell me about the children in the cave. Okay. They're really doing everything they can. Everything they can. Um, this is a struggle. A lot of people from all over the world are trying to give them some sort. I see more money. Oh, yay. So it's success, because I would have told you guys if it wasn't. Now, someone just died, and I'm hoping that's the only death, but there might be another death. There could even be up to four deaths. Sorry. Uh, but um, there's a lot of prayers going out. People are calling for me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um... God bless these children. God bless. There's a lot of prayers coming in. A lot of prayers coming in. So the angel of light and mercy standing and their success. Yay. Thank you. Because I was getting, maybe because the news media was talking about how all the difficulties. It's stressful and it's hard, but it feels like they're going to figure out something. And, but I do see a coffin. So I, it might just be that guy that recently died. Do you know how, it feels like someone from some other nation, someone may come in and give them an idea what's going to happen. Um, they're looking at ideas and it feels like somebody has a brilliant idea or someone comes up with something. They can't, they have to start going. It feels like time is of essence. Okay, thank you. I just saw like this big angelic form covering the children. There's some people getting sick in there now. Okay, but don't worry, you guys. They're going to come. They're going, there is a little bit of something here that may be heartbreaking, but the in other words, it would show if, it, if like, boom, they all drowned. Isn't that horrible or something? Okay, I mean, there's such a powerful energy working on their behalf. Even when the rains come, it, there's something like they're protected. Okay, so tell me about the babies that were kidnapped. Did you hear about that little girl? They found her full of lice and she was filthy. So, you know, Jesus Christ, it's horrible, you guys. And I can't help but wonder what sexual perverts are taking care of these kids too, because I feel a perversion too. Can you believe all the people keep been quiet about this? Who are these people? Some people need money, you know, and they'll do what they have to do to maintain a job. Any more news on these beautiful babies that have been kidnapped? Any more news? Any more news on these babies that have been kidnapped? All these mothers are yearning for them. Difficulties, which we knew. Strength, which means be in strength, know that everything's gonna work out. They're delusional, like they're trying to put something out there that doesn't exist. They're, I see a lot of judges, like judges coming forward saying, I even think after they get reunited there's going to be lawsuits against the united states and i see other nations helping with it oh my god we looks so bad you know nate the nato thing with president trump is so ugly 
because he's like, what is Germany? You know, like, screw Germany. Well, hello, 9-11, they didn't bomb Germany, but guess who came forward? Germany. This guy is a dunce. He doesn't, he absolutely has no idea the damage he's doing, but I want you to know it's gonna be okay. I keep telling you that, sorry. It's still gonna to be tough for these kids. I'm not seeing, like with the, the kids in the caves, it's like, yay, don't worry, everything's gonna work out. Here, it's still more strife. It feels like some higher ups outside of Trump are going to get in there and do something about this. There's a lot of drama here. They're gonna find out more stuff about mistreated children, maybe even a death, I think I said that before. Um, information coming in and out. Um, Money's being poured towards this too. So th they want you guys to know that it's taking a lot of work and it, it, it's not gonna happen overnight, but it's happening. But they forever damage these babies and it might be up to the United States to pay for their care for the rest of their life. Mister, he's gonna save money. He's costing us way, way more money by doing this. Oh, it's ugly. There's one guy, I see him being arrested. Just saw it, just saw his mugshot. Mm. It feels like a woman that may come out that's in the middle of all this. So it feels like a woman that may start spilling. You know what they're doing? I think some people have come out, but I see this woman saying, you know what they're doing? Um, we're not gonna let it go. We're still on this. But, yeah. Okay, so for my last question, you know that Roosevelt, Franklin D. Roosevelt, oh, he was a pretty powerful energy. He was actually more pow powerful than Jack Kennedy. He, um, he's not worried. Um, and he also knows that every, he's like all this was supposed to happen. He's, they're busy, they talk to people, like spiritually talk, maybe even in dream form. But Jack wanted everybody to know that Joe Kennedy eventually may be a big mucky muck in the United States. I don't know if he'll be president or vice president. Not now, later. His words are like he has the gift and he's able to pick up even from Jack because Jack is like talking to him. So Joe Kennedy is actually gonna do okay. And I just saw Joe Kennedy, the one that died in the plane crash. There's Jack standing with him. A lot of love over there for their family. But you know, Joe Kennedy, the father, issues. But I wanted to tell you that Jack, when I started to read him, when he started to come forward, he, he kind of said that his presidency was more or less bought. Like he got in thanks to something maybe even his father had done. Because I guess it was a close call. So, like, Trump got in because Putin helped him. But he's telling me he would have won a second term. He had a bad feeling he knew something was going to happen. Okay, so, last but not least, you guys, let's just take a quick look at uh, any charges coming up, something good. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, you guys. Right down to the real nitty gritty. So when's Trump going? I got my honorable stripes on for you, dude. What can I tell them about Trump? What can I tell them? Give us some hope. Give us some hope. Did you hear Trump mentioning that... Um, if he was to leave office, how all the media would go broke. He might be right. Because they're making money, tons of money off this. It's like he's a, he's a vile person, but he's creating all this uh, news story. So, you know, it's like maybe there is a cure for cancer, but they don't want it to come forward because all these other people are making up for it, you know, making money off of it. So give me anything. What's going to happen with Trump? Okay, here we go. Any charges coming up? Ooh, the devil's on him. The demon is there. 
Woo! Ooh, I asked specifically nine of cups. Look who's look who's wide looking out, out over it. This this energy, this negative energy is just gonna hit hard. They're saying be patient. Why do they always say that? They always say that. Be patient. Here's celebration. Oh my god. Something's coming up, and they still show that woman. Is it Cohen? Something's coming up, you guys. Something, a light is going to be shown about money. I think it's Cohen. It's something to do with money, and definitely a woman is involved. Always shows this powerful woman. Could even be a judge that's a powerful judge, but something's coming up and people are like whoa this this guy was even more evil than we even thought but the nine of cups you guys that's like yes i asked and it's saying yes no worries the sun is the outcome so i would say that this could even be happening by august at the latest so i think it's starting now and by august it's going to get even grander like something's coming down now and then by August. So what is this? This is July. That's next month. Okay, so like more stuff. Like light is being shown. Okay, you guys, take care. Sorry about the phone in the back. I forgot to turn it off. Y'all take care and have a, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.